welcome to DFT Codeword YouTube channel. Uh, in our previous video for the calculation of band structures in Condom Espresso, we have learned about the plotting of band structure with plot band dot x executable and plot band dot in file. In today's video, we are going to learn about the uh, bands plotting with a new plotting tool named as XM Grace. You can also use origin or, or GNU plot. Just simply go into your data and you can access your bands.gnu file by renaming it bands.plot.dat. So this file is renamed as bands.plot. So we are going to plot these bands by simply going into data import and plot band. Yes, you can see that we have the band structure If you want to plot it in single color, you just select all and put it in that way. But I am going to plot it in different colors by just changing its size. So this is our band structure. You can see that on Y axis, the bands are unprocessed. So to process these bands, we have to uh, go into the data and transform this y action y axis by selecting all the bands both in left and right column and apply the formula on y axis as y is equal to y minus fermi energy which is 6.1355 for the current case you can check it from an out file simply you can see that 6.1355 and apply now change the y-axis from minus 13 to 10 with major spacing 2 you can see that so the y-axis is now we all know that e minus e minus ef that is in electron volt unit Yes. So the x axis is very important. We have to label the special numbers, special symbol actually. And going into the uh, x axis are by simply clicking on x axis and special. We can see that the, the points or symmetry line is used as omega L gamma x omega k. These are six symmetry directions and the coordinates of each point is given in bands.pp.out file. You can see that. These are six points. So the first point is W. W has coordinate 0, 0, 0. The second one is L. L has coordinate 1.5811. Third one is gamma, which is at 2.5. 4472 and the next one is x x has coordinate 3.4472 and then w at 3.9472 the last one is k point which is at 5.9157 so we have to label these points over here at zero we all know that we have started it from w you have to select it, tick mark and label and name it as W. You can see that W is appeared at 00. zero. The next one is 1.5811. Remember that for those points, you have to skip those points uh, which, are, which, which, which do not res resemble to your coordinate points. So for this 0 0.5 will be left alone as well as 0 1.0. So here we will label it as L point. 
we can see that L is appeared here and then we have uh, 2.442, 2.4472 and it will be labeled as gamma. You can see that gamma is appeared over here. After gamma, we have uh, the X point at 3.44, 3.4472. So we will have X. We have to left 2.5. We can see that 2. Point at 3.4472 x is appeared and the next point is at 3.9472 so we will put it over here 3.9472 and the point is w w is appeared the last point is at 5.5.9 5.9157 and this it is k point so we have to left it over here five point nine one five seven actually yes so x x is is ending on 5.9157 so we have to stop it over here just like that and simply go into the tick mark and reduce these ticks to zero that is the grid you can simply see that so on this major grid lines and you will get these lines at each point what I have done I have done and this grid is on to get these lines and the small major or small grids are off similarly at y axis we can simply plot a line at family level just like that We are selecting this line as Fermi line. You can label it as well. This is your Fermi level. So this is the plotting of parent structure. You can simply save it as a GR file to re-access it again, just as bands dot GR in the desired folder bands.agr and you will get that the bands.agr file is appeared over here now to get the graph in png or desired file we simply need to go to sprint setup and get your desired extension of png gpeg or any other uh, i would rather prefer to go into the EPS format for LATIC etc. Just browse and again print setup EPS browse the path and give the EPS name that is bands.eps similarly over here bands.eps and select the resolution usually usually all the uh, all the journals usually require the resolution of 300 dpi but you can also save it in higher just like as the 1200 dpi after applying it you can simply go and print and you will see that there will appear a bands.eps file like that in higher resolution so this is the 
this is another way actually to plot your bands which were plotted in uh, plot band.x format command and also with the with this one